guys, Picano here, bringing you another GTA 5 video, and today we've got the new series, the correct class, what I think, which car needs to be in which class, in able to have a balanced class within GTA 5, and today, as you know, we've got the Blister Compact. Now, I know I said I'd do the bullet in the last episode, but really I was looking back on my old videos in terms of the Travi races, which I'll leave a link in the description, and this car really just caught my eye how badly placed it is in GTA 5. Now, let's scroll back guys. Let's scroll back to the days of GTA 4. Can you remember how badass this car was back in GTA 4? How sick it performed, how well it handled, how well it sort of drove, you could flick it into corners, you could actually get the back getting out, but then you'd be able to control it. It was fast, it was almost as fast as sports cars in that game. Um, this car here, wow. <laughs> So Rockstar basically brought a DLC car out and thought, right, fair enough, we'll bring a fan favourite car out. But what we'll do is, just to mix it in and make it as a unique, we'll put it in the sports category, even though it's a compact car. Right, so we've got compact written in the name. We've also got a car that looks like a compact. We've also got a car that's front wheel drive, which has got nothing to do with a sports car. And it just doesn't make sense. And what... Right, Michael. Oh, fuck's sake. Fair enough, moving on. Right, what, we, what we've also got is a car that doesn't accelerate, we've got a car that isn't quick in a top speed run, and we've also got a car that is no good in terms of traction. This car just breaks traction like you're rolling on ice. So, there's no place within the sports category I can see within. Like, it just really frustrates me how Rocks I can get a car so badly placed in the game. And, it'd be okay, like... Obviously, there's cars which are good and better than another in a class. So, for example, in the sports category, we've got the Felts of 9F, Jester, Massacro, which are all top-tier cars. But then you've also got the bottom-end ones, which are still... Comp oh, for fuck's sake, this bin. Which You've also got cars such as the Coquet um, and the, you know, those lower-end cars, which are still quick, still sound nice, still accelerate really good, look really sleek, have loads of customizations, and can compete, you just need to be really skillful and you know, hopefully you don't have experienced drivers on the other team with Felsers, but the, the Coquette is still a sports car, even though it's not a very quick one, it's still a sports car. This car here looks like a penguin, it just looks fat, it looks, it's just really unnoticeable within the game, like I said, go back to GTA 4, this car was epic. Bring in GTA 5, put it in the sports class, and you immediately expect this car to be quick, and it's just not. If this car was placed in the compact, it'd have a lot more respect, because it'd be placed correctly. You know, it's like, it's almost like placing the Alpha in the supercar. Like, if Rockstar did that, everyone would hate the Alpha. But because Alpha is in the sports, okay, it's a blumpy sports car, but it's still, it's still quick. At least it has good top speed. You know, it's, there we are. So, it's the same thing. And I just don't get why Rockstar put this car in sports. It needs to go into the compacts. Clearly says it in the name as well. It, it's front wheel drive. I mean, really front wheel drive in a sports car? Really? You know, it just doesn't make sense whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you guys think anyway. Do you agree? Do you think it needs to be in the sports? Do you disagree? Tell me why in the comments. But, yeah, it's just really really funny how they've how they've done it so i'll be covering more of these uh in the near future guys got plenty more planned and tell me what you guys think like i said if you enjoyed the video leave it a like and if you're new around here subscribe got plenty more racing videos to come in the future with a new t20 going against the osiris and the zentona coming up soon so i'll see you in the next one guys cheers